Hello everybody and welcome back to Back to the Future the game. Now if you remember in the last episode I um, I enlisted the uh, the help of the young doc here and he asked me to deliver a subpoena to my grandfather but I have to find out how to do that um, so right let's start off what about this subpoena you have to deliver a lot of subpoenas <clears throat> father's always sending me out to do these dirty jobs he wants to expose me to different kinds of people all he's exposed me to is a lot of new curse words <laughs> yeah i can imagine <laughs> uh this subpoena is for arthur mcfly okay this subpoena is for arthur mcfly <clears throat> have you seen him for a few seconds in the soup kitchen but i think he's gone back into hiding Brilliant deduction, Einstein. <laughs> the dog thought he was talking to him. How about Kid Tannen? What do we know about him? He's loud, he's obnoxious, he's not very bright, and he doesn't like anybody getting in his way. Yep, that's a Tannen, all right. Yeah, it is. Um, what do you know about Arthur McFly? What do you McFly? know about Arthur McFly? Certified accountant. Graduated Hill Valley five classes ahead of me. Seems like a nice fellow, actually. How did he get mixed up with a guy like Kid Tannen? <clears throat> Who knows? Sometimes people find themselves stuck in situations they can't get out of. Yeah, I reckon he threatened him or something. Uh, why is your rocket, f uh, your rocket fuel... My, uh, my this alcohol. might be a stupid question, but couldn't you have designed your rocket-powered drill to run on fuel that, you know, isn't illegal? Well, it would make sense. What does law have to do with science? Science has its own laws. You of all people should know that. Uh, could we use something besides alcohol? Maybe. Couldn't you tweak your engine design a little so it runs on something else? Like what? I don't know. Gas, maybe? Gasoline? <laughs> Yesterday's news. You'll see. By 1940, automobiles will all run on pure alcohol. <laughs> yeah. We'll have flying cars by the year 2000 as well. <laughs> uh, why a rocket drill anyway? Some of us down at the patent office are wondering, what made you think of a rocket-powered drill? Ah, that'd be Journey to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne. It was a revelation. Yeah, that's kind of what we figured. Yeah. Um, have you read the time machine Have you yet? read the time machine? H.G. Wells? Not yet, but it's on my list. Uh, why don't you quit? If serving subpoenas is such dirty work, why don't you just say no? Look, what's the worst thing that can happen to me on this job? You could get, get shot. shot. Well, <laughs> great yeah, minds well, think alike. Me, that's nothing compared to what I'll get if I mouth off to my pop. Uh, any idea, any where, idea we where we can, can find, find Artie? Not a jot. If only we had a way of tracking him. Hmm. Okay. We'll get that subpoena delivered. Or my name isn't Michael Corleone. Yeah. I don't know why he keeps call they keep calling me Michael Corleone because I told him my name was um, Harry Callahan, didn't I? So <laughs> I don't understand. But not to worry. Kind of a chat to the boss over here, shall we? If he's got anything interesting to say. Might have a few choice words for the us. Hell matches. You, you got kiwi all over my socks. Sorry, got boss. Kiwi all Get over out my of socks. here. How about you? Huh? I'm sitting at a shoe shine booth. You walk up. Either you're here to shine my shoes, or you got a death wish. Which is it? Oh, I've got a death wish. Uh. Yeah, I suppose I'll shine his shoes then. <clears throat> Uh, what? No, we're not asking him about that. Let's ask him about what. I'm looking Arthur, for a guy named Arthur McFly. He's my uh, 
sort of a relative. <laughs> sort of a relative. My employee. He's very busy today. Um, you know where he is? Since you're Arthur's boss, you know where he is, right? He's at the uh, office. Where's the office? I forget. Oh, that's probably why he's not at work then, because he's forgot where he works. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, you know when I might find him? So when do you think Arthur will be leaving the office? When I tell him he can leave the office. Hey, you missed a spot. Uh, yeah, that's uh, Arthur's hat, isn't it? He took it off him in the uh, soup kitchen. Isn't that Arthur McFly's hat you're holding? It was McFly's hat. Now it's my peanut bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Peanut bowl. Uh, can I buy the hat off you? No, that'd be no good because I've got no money. Uh, okay, can I have some peanuts? Can I have some peanuts? Why not? I'm a magnanimous kind of guy. Go ahead, knock yourself out. Uh, on second thoughts, I'm not hungry. Uh, what the hell is that? Okay, try that. Hey, kid! Yeah? What the hell is that? Hey! Oh, it's Nixie's hat. <laughs> oh. What did you do? So I can jump over the wall, but they can't. They have to run all the way around. <coughs> and I don't have any control over this. This is just that a cut scene. Hat, you lousy crook! Damn it! Oh, he's got the hat. Run! Don't just stand there. Run! Damn it! Well, we've got a minute. Is the manure truck going to come along and spray him? Nobody makes a monkey out of Kid Tannen! Haha! <laughs> Ooh, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> Fix me up. Okay. Where do you learn how to move like that? Sandlot football. They used to call me the streak. Get out. The streak. <laughs> uh. Okay. Now what? Where's he gone? Um, hint. Earlier in the game, Marty used an object to find its owner. How? Uh, the dog? Was it the dog? Yeah, I think it may be the dog. Oh, the hat. Get the dog to sniff out the, uh, the person. Okay. Arthur's hat. Oop. This side. Here you go, mate. Hey, honey. Come here for a sec, boy. Hey, boy. Did you find the guy who belongs to this hat? Where's he going? Only one way to find out. Yeah, follow him. See what's going on. <clears throat> Alright, so don't know where we are. Huh, deja vu. Deja vu. Oh, is that the is this the place where the old lady lived? Um I'll open the door. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah? Who is it? It's McFly! Shh, I know! Yeah, of course it's him. Let's talk to him. Hey, Arthur. Can you come down a minute? Do I know you? Um... We're a family. No, I better not tell him I'm... His grandson. 
We've got something for you. It's a sub a subscription to the no, the Accountant not. Weekly. He won't come out if he knows why we're really here. No, right. Ha <laughs> I'm not interested. And besides, the boss won't let me leave the room. No. Sorry. Some other time. Well, what about if we try and give him the hat? <clears throat> what now? What now? Impatient person, isn't he? Inventory. What? I'll give it back to him after I give him the subpoena. Oh, okay. Um. What? Do I just have to keep talking? I don't need to, to push it? it again. Arthur's already there. Is it? Well, I don't Someone's know. playing tricks on me. <laughs> well, it's okay. What now? What now? It's uh, me again. Please me come again. down. Why? Um, there's some important information for We've you. Got some important information for you, but <clears throat> we can't yell it. It's private. Then put it in a <laughs> postcard and send it. I'm stuck <laughs> up here till the boss tells me I can leave. He's told Sorry. you. Sorry. He's told me to some tell other you time. Can leave. Come on. Come downstairs. Right, uh, not getting very far here, are we? What now? It's me again. Please come down. Why? Why? Um, on that one. Yeah, okay. I'm your friend. Uh, mother's great nephew. You mean my second cousin? Yeah, <laughs> glad to know you. But I can't leave this building till the boss says so. He's given strict orders. Sorry, some other time. Oh, the guy's such a wimp. He won't do anything without permission. Okay, we'll tell him with the law then, I suppose. What now? What now? It's me again. Please come down. Why? Uh, that's the only thing I haven't done. We represent the law. You don't want to go against the law, do you? No, but I don't want to go against Kid Tannen either. And he ordered me to stay put till he gives the word. Sorry, some other time. Sorry, some other time. Right, okay. Let's have a look at the... In October. To get Arthur out, you'll need to go and get something from the town centre. Oh, okay. Uh, town centre. Where's the town centre? We came this way, didn't we? So if we go walking back this way. Right, this is just a cutscene. He's doing it automatically. I don't know what's going on. Okay. I'm not sure what we need to find in the town centre, but... We shall see. Talk to him, say, uh, no, we've already done that. We'll get that subpoena delivered. Uh, right. 
No, can't go any further than that. So there's something in the town centre. I'm just not sure what. But if we go over the road there, the boss man's going to see us again, isn't he? So. Okay. Uh, big Talon's back. Thinks, uh, think he's still mad at you. Uh, okay. Another hint. Kind oh, of another hint. Right. Uh, don't want to go near the boss man then if he's going to still be mad at me because he's going to chase me and probably shoot me. <laughs> Oh, wait, there is something inside here. No, there's a lady there. No, but maybe I could talk to her, but no. Oh, can I talk to her? Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. Try not to draw any undue attention my way. I'm on the trail of a hot new scoop, as we in the newspaper business say. Ah, oh, on a scoop, eh? What's the scoop? What's the scoop? I've heard rumours that something shady is going on at the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. It's under new management, you know. And, oh, we mustn't jump to any conclusions. Not till the facts are in. I hope to heaven it <clears throat> is just a rumour. That soup kitchen is the front line in the good fight. If it goes bad, what will happen to the Stay Silver Society? Not to mention all the charitable institutions that depend on me for soup deliveries. Oh, it's not like a journalist to want to uh, not just make something up. Right. Uh, what about the other story? Did you finish the story you interviewed me for? About Carl Sagan? Yes, but those pig-headed editors at the paper rejected it. They said my story was slanted and that I was glorifying a suspected arsonist. As if their stories aren't always glorifying the criminal vermin that run this town. This whole thing makes me so mad I could spit. Well, of course I never would. There's an ordinance against it, and it's so tidy. <laughs> yeah, up, you, you can't spit it against the law. Uh, you make soup deliveries. Okay, what's the Stay Sober what's the Society? Stay Sober Society? Society? You haven't heard of the SSS? They the do SSS. the most marvelous work, taking hopeless drunken bums and turning them into former hopeless drunken bums. I'm one of the founding members. <laughs> and not to say that I was ever, well, you know. Anyway, we've always met in the cellar of the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen, but for some reason the new managers don't want us down there, so we're stuck. We've got nowhere to meet. Ah, well, the soup kitchen's over there. Oh, something's going on in there. Um, so you make soup deliveries. You make hot soup deliveries. It's one of my many small contributions to the good cause. Healthy bodies, healthy souls, or so one hopes. I pick up barrels of hot soup at the kitchen, and I deliver them hither and thither. Hill Valley Orphanage, the St. Francis Xavier Ranch for Unwanted Children, Foggy Mountain Home for the Incurably Insane, Shady <laughs> Acres Rest Home. Oh, I can barely keep track of them all. It's a very big job. Ah, right. Uh, I can help deliver soup. Yeah, I can help you deliver soup. I don't need a lot of time to charities. Oh, which ones? The um, um, all Mario them. Brothers. Ah, uh, yes. The, the Italians Brothers. do so many good works. If you'll just fix it so I can pick up the barrels of soup. Now hold your horses, let's not get over eager. I drive the soup cycle in this town, and I'm not about to turn it over to an upstart. But, if you're well connected with the local charitable institutions... Yeah? You can let me know when they're running low on soup. Oh, okay. Uh... Right, so I know a charity that needs soup deliveries. Uh, oh, what about if I, I know say a somewhere that I can meet? Society can meet? Oh, where? Uh, well, in the park. Um, maybe not the police station because maybe they wouldn't trust people at the police station. Um, 
in the bomb speakeasy or at the, at the brown residence the judge you sentences them up but don't know about that but we'll try the park you can meet in the park no that's no good too many <clears> of the members <throat> sleep in the park oh okay <laughs> um as a matter of fact i do know a local charity that's running low on oh, soup i'll click the oh, wrong one who? um The farm yeah. for unwanted children. Farm for unwanted children. Perhaps their parents yeah. don't want them because they eat too much. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> oh, and now she's gone. Where's she going? All right, Edna. Just think of all those poor unfortunates and hold your nose. <laughs> Mr. Donnelly! Mr. Donnelly, can I have some soup for the unwanted children? Oh, okay, now she's gone. I can't talk to her anymore. Uh, oh, okay. Let's go and see what Emmett's got to say. If he's got anything new to say. Uh, oh, I don't want to tangle with him, do I? Any ideas we can find? No, we've already found him. He hasn't, we'll get that he subpoena hasn't delivered. To time machine. Okay, let's go and have a look at the soup kitchen, uh, kitchen shall we? Let's see what's going on in here. Let's wait for it to load. Oh, the doctor's come with me. <laughs> okay. Hey, cue ball. What? The truck just arrived with a fresh shipment of, uh, soup. Of, uh, soup? Soup? soup. Well, uh, <laughs> this is the regular soup, and this is the special soup. Right. Special soup. Special. Ah, oh, so does that mean... Ah, we've got one bottle of regular hey, soup and two what bottles are you doing? of I'm alcohol, spicing up the maybe? Soup. It's my secret recipe. Listen, this ain't the Savoy, and we ain't here to feed these bozos no fancy soup. The boss has got a business to rebuild, so knock off the goofing and mind your post. All right, all right, just try the soup. Well? Ah. <sighs> I can see why you want to keep this a secret. <laughs> it looks like dishwater. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay. Oh, 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 what's that? A pipe? pipe is it, no, pipe. You can click on the pipe. Don't know why you would want to click on the pipe, but see what it does. Looks like these pipes go into the basement. Yeah, they do. I'm just going to see what the doc's up to. I... Oh. And there's a cutscene. What's going on? Bang, bang, bang. Ah. So does that mean the, the new speakeasy is here now? And here it comes with some more special soup. <laughs> and there's Cubo. Have a talk with the doc, shall we? See what he's got to say. Huddle up, Emmett. Huddle? Just listen up for a second. Uh Right, any ideas where we can get alcohol? I can't get into the kitchen. Uh, this place is a little dusty for an illegal gin joint. <laughs> any, any ideas, ideas about how to get the hooch? Hooch? The alcohol, Emmett. Ah, uh, one might come to the conclusion that the hooch is being hidden in some of those barrels. You're probably right, but which ones? 
Now, if I could get my hands on some of those barrels, I could weigh them and compare their specific gravity. Specific gravity? Come on, Emmett. Kids goons aren't going to let us do an experiment on their barrels. Mm, oh, I no. suppose you're right. We'll just have to ask the guy behind the counter. What? Ask him if any of his <laughs> barrels are filled with illegal moonshine? Get real here. Well, I imagine the modicum of subtlety would be used. Subtlety. Right. Oh, to be innocent again, I... <laughs> I'm not know what's going on. Uh, any idea we can get some? We've done that one, didn't we? Uh, I can't get into the kitchen. Oh, so maybe you can help me get through that kitchen door because I went through. I tried Evan, to get I through there before. I can't get into the door over there. Those tables are jamming it shut. The door? So your plan is to just waltz in there and take a barrel of alcohol? Uh, no, uh, of course not. That would be stupid, right? I'll say. Still, oh. I'd like to get that door open. That's what I was I thinking. I can't do anything from out here. <laughs> well, it's a simple matter of physics. A lever, some sort of stop. Let me see what I can come up with. Oh, okay. Where is that it? Uh, let's have a talk to Cubo, shall we? Excuse me. You talking to me? Are you talking to me? Uh, so this place used to be a soup kitchen. So this place used to be a soup kitchen. What do you mean used to be? <clears throat> Despite recent changes in be? ownership, this joint is still available for the purposes of distributing food to the needy and the not so well to do. And no other purposes whatsoever. Right. Yeah, that's a well rehearsed line, isn't it? <laughs> in case the police show up. <laughs> uh, why is Kid Tannen okay? Why is he What's running a, a soup kitchen? What's a tough guy like Kid Tannen doing running a soup kitchen? Mr. Tannen purchased the soup kitchen from the Sisters of Mercy in an effort to repair his reputation as a respectable community figure after his fine name was besmirched by the malignant and malicious. Melissaphilus, <laughs> the actions of the misguided vandals that, that, that done burned down his place of business. They speak easy. I cannot confirm nor deny any claims of so-called illegal bootlegging at the, the, just eat your damn soup, pipsqueak. <laughs> I haven't got any soup. Um, why is your soup why in a barrel? Why is your soup in a barrel? Because it's hard to ladle off the floor. Well, yeah, I suppose you can't argue with that. Uh, okay, let me have some soup. Can I have a bowl of soup? You're a soup kitchen. What do you think? Mmm, yum yum, cabbage soup. Uh, what kind of soup is this? It, it tastes like... Scroll a ribolita? I was going to say week old cabbage. Everyone's Strow a by a liberita, Look, what's that? <laughs> all I got to work with is this two-bit soup in a barrel and spice rack that hadn't been restocked since the Coolidge administration. What do you think I should do to perk this slop up? Let's see. Have you tried... Uh, have you tried tipping it down the sink? <laughs> uh, salt, paprika, parsley... Chili powder. Uh, salt? 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 <clears throat> what do you think? It's too bland? Too mild? I didn't put too much pepper in it, did I? I just think it could use a little more salt. No accounting for taste these days. Now, when he tapped on the, uh, on the pipe, that went down an elevator, didn't it? So, if I tap on that pipe, this side, will it send it? Eureka! Ooh. Let's gonna see what the doc's got to say first. Emmett. Yes? Uh, nice door jam. Oh, that's interesting. Just a little mechanical ingenuity. In the end, the door is open. Yeah, good job. Oh, okay. Is that it? We'll score that hooch somehow. <clears throat> I'll keep cogitating. 
I'll keep cogitating. Yeah, you cogitate away. Oh, he's finished that now. Right, so he's bringing that across. Back onto the lift. So if I, if I move it off the lift, then will it tip over maybe? Oh, maybe I've got to talk to him. Oh, maybe I've got to talk to him again. What is it, kid? Uh, some more ideas about your okay. soup. Okay, I've got some more ideas about your soup. Do tell. Let's see. Have you tried? Uh, I've done salt. Try paprika. Paprika? paprika? Uh, I, I just think it could use a little eh, color. Color? Hmm. Right, is it going to let me move this time? If I bang on that. That's it, you can't hear me. Bang, bang, bang. Reserved for charity. Oh, she's coming ah, for some more Ms. soup. Strickland, come for some more soup? Come now, Mr. Donnelly. You know I wouldn't set one foot in this mockery of all that is good and decent if the poor of Hill Valley weren't so dependent on Mr. Tennant's overblown show of generosity. Was that a yes? <laughs> Just give me the soup before I, I gag on myself. this hypocrisy. Is that a yes? <clears throat> Ah, so now she's got some I'll alcohol. Tell the boss you said hello. I'll just bet you will. And they picked up the barrel of hooch. Now all you have to do is to get it from her somehow. Right. Oh, is he not going to notice that? If I bang that again, will it put the thing up? Oh, no, didn't put it back up. Okay, let's go outside. <clears throat> and see if we can find Edna. Oh, there she's, she's back where she was before now. And what I'm going to do here now, guys, is I'm going to end this video because it's coming up to the... Uh, preferred time now and I will carry on with the uh, with the storyline in the next video so I want to thank everybody for watching and if you haven't already please consider liking and subscribing and uh, any comments uh, about the video please leave them down below and until the next time I will see you very very soon, so bye bye for now.